Okay, guys. Tow man Tory back again with another video. This time I'm loading up three 32 foot Skyjack scissor lifts. Three 35, I'm sorry, 32 foot Skyjack scissor lifts. Now, again, guys. Don't take what I'm saying as the gospel truth. This is just my way of doing it, my interpretation. Check and verify for yourself. Okay, I'm gonna put two of these scissor lifts side by side on 32, on the uh, two of these 32 foot scissor lifts side by side on a uh, Century 30 series bed. The bed is approximately eight by four inches eight feet four inches wide probably eight and a half feet wide so you can get two 32 foot scissor lifts on this bed no problem but what i'm gonna do i'm only gonna run one chain in the front one chain in the back one 10 foot chain with one hook to the to the chain holes on my carrier and i'm gonna run the chain all the way over as you can see how I got it going, I don't need to explain, it's self-explanatory. Look and verify. And I'm gonna put a binder on it right here. And I'm gonna also do the same thing in the rear. And I'm gonna put one binder back there. So it'll be two binders holding two units with two chains. Now I've heard, now this is not the gospel truth. Check and verify for yourself. Cause I know you got a lot of assholes out there. He doing it wrong. He ain't hooking it up right. That's that's not the proper way to do it. Again, again, those are the guys that lose shit all the time off their truck. So, had to jump down. All right, I'm gonna hook it. I'm gonna put another 10 foot chain in the rear. I'm gonna secure these two I have on the truck before I tilt the bed to load up that third one back there. Again guys, this is my interpretation. As I see, I got the bed very close to the cab. I may have to slide it back some so I can safely chain down my binders. I'm going to turn on the unit. Gonna slide it back a couple of inches. Turn that one off. As you see, I'm, I'm gonna make sure they're even. That's another thing, very important. When, when you're loading down two pieces of identical equipment, make sure they're evenly lined up. Also, make sure you never run over your winch cable. As you can see how I got my winch cable running between the two units. I got my winch cable running between the two units and my winch cable is free. My winch cable is very important on a carrier your winch cable is very important sometimes you don't have to use it i try not to use it but when you're dealing with shit you have to use it because guys these two units these two units uh three units are definitely shit the one that the third one they pulled out was missing a wheel they had to put a wheel on that third one it only had one bolt holding the wheel on. They asking me, did I have a jack? And uh, 25 years in the game, guys, I don't do that shit no more. I don't carry a jack on my truck. I don't change tires. Those days are behind me. Okay. Because with the company that I work for, we do a lot of shit, not just equipment. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip my phone and we're gonna do the binder again. You don't really need a lot, guys. One link to do. Make sure it's safe and secure on the bed. Get these two. 
going on the binder. And we'll tighten them down later. Again, got my Lodar 10 button function remote. We're gonna tilt the bed up. Two units, they're safely secure. They're not gonna slide, they're not gonna roll, they're not gonna shift. We're gonna let the bed up. And we're gonna slide the bed back. And we're gonna run our chain through those two units. And as you can see, I got my extra binder right there. And I'm gonna show you how to do the other unit with only using one binder and two chains. Very convenient. Remember, always keep your winch safe and secure. That's my winch cable right there. Always keep that winch cable safe and secure. Don't ever run over your winch cable. Don't ever roll over your winch cable with equipment. Equ equipment will cut your winch cable like butter. Believe you me, I know from experience. through here and back to the bed put the hook on it you're going to safely run one chain through two units see that guys I'm even doing this with one hand holding the phone with one hand Sometimes you might not you might not think you got enough chain, but you don't need but a couple of links. And you put your binder on there. enough change I'm gonna show you a little tip and trick here. Having yourself about 12 inches of an extra chain with a hook on it is very important. This is right here is like your best friend. Boom see that got me a chain just extended it Put my binder on. I'm on Two chains, two binders, two units. Very convenient. Wrap up the SS chains. We ready to rock and roll. Okay, this is the third unit. I was gonna speak to these guys about the nuts and bolts that came off of here. It looks like they put them back on. I guess that's the tire that I was telling you about. They got them all on there except for one. Yep, that's it. We didn't even shut it off. Now, for some reason, a lot of these scissor lift and I got this thing on it's only got one speed. It's not gonna pull up on the bed. I can tell you that now it's gonna roll until it gets about that far and watch it stop. See that? Still got it down. Won't even move. Like I said, you have to you have to improvise when you're dealing with shit. So we just gonna cut that some bitch off. We're gonna grab our chain. This is where the winch cable comes in. Again, don't use the winch cable. Don't use your winch cable to tie down equipment. Only use your winch cable to get the equipment on the truck. Okay, the 
disengage my wings. All of this stuff is very important. And also, make sure you chain. this chain come back over engage your winch engage your air winch engage disengage then grab your 10 button function remote and rock and roll it won't hurt a scissor lift winching it up on. All you, all you have to do is make sure that your winch is aligned. Make sure your winch isn't going left to right. Make sure your winch is going straight. Sometimes you have the units to where they want to go off to the left or the right. All you have to do is come over, turn the unit on just like a car, keeping it in neutral. And winching it on at the same time. And there you go, guys. You have, see how I keep my winch cable free? My winch cable is free and running right between both units. You just get it up on there just enough to let your bed up. You get it on there just enough to let your bed up. Then this is the very important part. Let my bed up, letting it level. And I let the bed down. And I'm standing on the bed, which you don't supposed to do. But for the convenience of the video, I'm gonna break a few rules. I'm an amateur. Check it out for yourself. Well, once you get the bed level and and up to the headache rack and up to the cab of the truck, you can release the winch. The winch has done its job. The winch has done its job. many chain ports on here makes it very convenient when hauling equipment especially multiple units and as you can see I could just slide it back tighten it up so now all I need to do leave my winch cable free see I got it going there to the bed over through the unit back to the bed very convenient so all I have to do now is get one more chain and a binder Secure the unit down, ready to rock and roll. And I was putting this off for a long time, guys, about making videos. Put in the honey down the truck. Cut off my air ride, my my uh my airbags. And turn off the PTO. Don't need it on there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab another chain. These are 80 grade chain. Perfect for scissor lifts and smallest.
all the units of equipment. I'm gonna get back up here on the bed of the truck. Run my chain through this unit. Back to the bed. All you have to do is drop it in there and this chain doesn't even have a hook on it. Don't need one. Run it back over like so. This is my cluster. Secure it in my chain basket. Make sure my winch on the front is tight. Make sure my binders on the front is tight. Grab me another binder from up here. Put my chain back. I'm gonna walk back here and secure this third unit, guys. These videos are gonna become very helpful for people doing uh, that want to operate an industrial carrier or work for just about any equipment company. They all do basically the same shit. Do it like so. Flip it down. Pull it to you. Once you get it tight, you can use one arm. Bingo. Three, 19, I'm sorry, 32 foot scissor lifts. Three 32 foot scissor lifts. Safe and secure on an industrial carrier. The winch cable is sitting there, it'll be okay. It's running between those two units at the front. Not going anywhere. Three binders, three units, four chain. Actually four and a quarter, but and uh, all you have to do with these scissor lifts, you also have to make sure the baskets on the scissor lifts are secure. Okay, that basket's supposed to be pushed all the way in those uh, platforms on the on a, uh, scissor lift. Those are called platforms. They usually have to be all the way in with the pins in them, but those these scissor lifts are old and it doesn't even extend out or it won't go in any further, so it's locked in right there. Because if you if you get a new one and you take off like that and you hit the brakes, the uh, the platform will spin out and it can damage your truck or it can damage something behind you. It can come off. A whole lot of shit can happen. So always make you should make sure you secure those platforms. Next time I do a video, I will be showing you on a good on some good units. I will be showing you how to do how to secure the platform on some sizzle lifts until the next video guys toe man tory out like and subscribe